Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see future DIYs. Hit the bell if you would like notifications. Like, comment, and share this video. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was take uh, mason jars, little mason jars, this tin, and then this little riser thing that I had for another video down the road. And I took them outside and decided to spray paint them. Well, I'm excellent at holding the camera and videoing, apparently. So I cut all of that out. Um, and I also painted the lids and I painted these in a matte black. Once that had several hours to dry, I went ahead and take took some tape and I taped off the top and the bottom and I'm going to paint the um, the rim of those with a, just black acrylic paint. I got this tin through Holler last year I believe and I planned on using this um, in just a storage in my craft room but never got around to it so now it's coming in handy for my kitchen. Um, I also painted the top of my um, handle as well. So I cut out vinyl and what I did was for the big tin, I um, used the word coffee and then, okay, right there is um, an S and a P for the coffee, for the coffee, for the salt and pepper shakers in that font for that, the hand soap and the just soap, I used the font from the font Skinny Ray. It's a Ray Dunn inspired font and then for the coffee tin I used Rio Grande this lid I got it from Amazon and it's shinier than the other lid that I have this one is a foam pump but I'll list it in the description box below but I think I might go back and spray paint it in the Mac matte black to match the other one that I have but um, it wasn't too expensive so I'll list that in the description box below and here I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the tape and then I will add um, the decal that's the word i'm going to use the decal to the front of this 10 as well now the uh, right here the o on my um on my vinyl part of it would not release so i had to cut out just a little extra and then piece it together which was fine. Um, I'm needing a new blade, so I had that ordered, and with everything that's going on, it's just taking longer than normal to get here. So I just go ahead and place it where I want it, and then squeegee it down, and remove my transfer tape.
And here are the dish soap and hand soap. And as you can see, the one on the right, how much shinier the, the pump is. So I think I may go ahead and spray paint that to match more of a matte. But I love how it turned out. And here is the coffee canister. As you can see, I did not spray paint the inside. No one's gonna see it anyway, except for us when we get our K-cups out. So I'm absolutely in love with how these turned out. And I think it's gonna be much better than just seeing the, the K-cups sitting out. It'll be more put together. And here's the cough or the salt and pepper shakers. They're so stinking cute. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.